So before I present you with the sneaker that I will be doing a review on, you guys probably know it by the title by now. I was in the mall about six months ago. I went in there. I was looking through all this stuff. I usually look through what I like, what I don't like, all this. And I came upon these and I fell in love with them. Um, I love the model. The model ever since it came out, I've been in love with it and I've definitely wanted a pair. Finally a pair came up for the price that I wanted. And these are going pretty cheap right now so I'd go check them out. Especially in your local Adidas outlet or your Adidas store. And just go check them out. So I'm going to present them to you. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. There you guys go. So they are the Adidas Tubular in the camo colorway. Um, I'm going to call this camo even though I don't know if it is or isn't. I think it would count as camo. So moving into the front view. These sneakers, I've been using them for about four days. So I think I have an okay understanding of what's good and bad about them. So first off, we're going to take a look at the print, which is what I love on this specific colorway. And you can see right there, it's made of like a neoprene type of material. And it uses some kind of rubber to protect it and keep the form. Um, I found that it's pretty comfortable. Um, give these a breaking period if you guys are kind of judging them upon like first putting them on. Definitely give them a breaking period. So I'm going to go over the materials and then we'll talk a little bit more about them. So you have a leather right here and you know there's different types of leather all around the shoe. Um, leather back here, everything. The Adidas symbol. My favorite feature from the whole shoe is right here on the midsole. This little part right here. It makes it look, look a lot like the Quaza, or I think that's how you say it. Um, the Y3 sneaker tubular on the inside that's actually on both shoes and I think it gives it a good little touch but what really I like about this sneaker is the colorway the camel colorway is actually my favorite one now I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of the sneaker so first off the one thing that I absolutely hated when first seeing the sneaker are these super long laces look at how far they go so they stretch all the way I'm just going to throw them out there so you can see. That's pretty far. All the way to the camera, which is pretty far away from it. And that is the first thing that I didn't like. But after actually tying the shoelaces, you can see how they look. It's a pretty different type of style, but I definitely do like it. Um, I actually like it a lot. So, moving on to the outsole. It was... I've been using these for four days again, so... It's not the cleanest. I'm showing you how they wear over time since it has been four days. So you can see the pattern right here. It's definitely not a runner in my opinion. Um, I've used them to the gym once and they held up pretty good, but you really don't start feeling the comfort on the sneaker until about the fourth day of wearing them. They, they do have a breaking period again and they don't have any boost technology or anything. They just, you know, what you see is what you get. But they are pretty stylish in my opinion. Um, with some pants, I will show. I will link a video down below because I don't think I have the best pants to show these off right now. Um, I'm working on something, so you guys will see an outfit with these later. But not right now. I'm just gonna show you the shorts. The last thing that I really want to leave you with. Well, let me tell you guys two more things. So first, the heel cup is super strong. Um, and right here, it's like a, how can I explain it? It's like a sock when you put it on. Just like it conforms to your foot, and then you take it off. You can just slip it on and off. You don't need to tie the laces every time. So that's definitely a plus for it. And it's one of the things that I really like about it. So, two things. One, this is a sneaker that you will want to wear without socks for it to look a little bit better. Um, with socks, I find that it looks a little bulkier. And it definitely doesn't look as good. Without socks, it pretty much looks like a Yeezy. That's what I'm, I'm going to say that, and I'm just going to put that out there. Um, so low-cut socks to no socks. I have worn these without socks. They are pretty comfortable for about two hours. I'm just going to put that out there. Um, I never use the top eyelets either. I just tend not to do it. I don't know why, but I have gotten a couple compliments off of these. The other, the other colorway that I want to pick up is the blue camo colorway. Um... I think that one looks good too. These are just a little bit more wearable right now and 
I didn't find the blue ones yet, so I mean, I'm I'm looking for them, you know. But this is a sneaker that I will be wearing every day. I'm not gonna say every day, but it's gonna be in the rotation. Um, definitely a good sneaker. I'd recommend that you guys go check this out. I'll have a link down below to wherever I find it the cheapest for you guys. I'll try to get coupons too down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the on foot where I will showcase them with with socks and without socks. Have a good day. It's raining outside and I'm out of here. Goodbye. So on these go true to size guys. Um, they'll fit pretty snug and they'll feel good. Just go true to size on them. Bitches shake they jelly. We that look up, make her look like Halle Bay.